I'm gonna show you how to create a circle crop for your videos. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a circle crop for your videos using DaVinci Resolve. Now, what the circle crop is, is if you ever see those like little talking heads in your screen, that's what we're gonna be creating. So let's just dive into it. After you open up DaVinci Resolve, you want to get all your folders in your file set up. I'm going to be using these two example clips from previous videos I've made. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in two different ways, a quick way and then one that's a little bit more elaborate. For the first one, we're going to go over here to the color tab. We're going to go up. So I have this first clip right here. What I'm going to do is add alpha out and just drag my alpha points, connect them. Now on this, we're going to go over to this middle one, which is the window, and select the circle. Now, as you can see, I have a circle here, and this is where you can kind of change it. If you want to make an ellipse, or if you want to use in any of the other shapes, you can do that. What I'm gonna do is, let's make it a little wider, and you can see that the second clip, which was under that, will be the one that's behind it. And from here, you can fine tune it. If you want to make it a little softer, you can do that or keep a harder line. I'm going to keep it roughly right about there. What you can do here is go over to the edit page, find your top clip and go into your video settings. And you can just maneuver yourself to where you would like to put yourself. Say you just want to do that. You want to make it a little bit smaller move it over to the opposite side. And this is how you would do a crop circle for a quick and easy way to do it. So the second way we're gonna do this is gonna be over here in the edit tab. What you wanna do is come down here to your effects area. Go ahead and type in transform. You wanna select your top clip and either drag that onto it or if it is selected, just go ahead and double click it and that will apply it to that clip. Now from here in the effects tabs, you want to come down here to the image adjustment. Go ahead and move this edge rounding all the way to the right to create that perfect little circle. Now to adjust yourself in that, we're going to go over to video and I'm going to make myself a little bit bigger, move myself a little bit center and move myself a little bit down. Now what you could do is in the effects, go ahead and move this to where you want to, but I wanna do one little thing to make this a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is come over here and create a new fusion composition. Now, ideally this should be as long as the like, clip that you're supposed to make it. For this one, I'm gonna set this for one minute. And you wanna put this on top of your image. Now in your fusion composition, you want to come over here into the Fusion tab. Now in your Fusion tab, you want to come up here and open effects if it's not opened. Just go ahead and open that. Go to Tools. You want to come down to Shape. You want to add S Render and S Ellipse. And then just go ahead and connect those together. Now in the S Ellipse, make sure that's select. You want to come up here and deselect Solid. And this is where you create your border width for this. So I'm going to try, try to do 0.03. I'm just going to leave it at that. 0.29 is close enough for me. And then if you want to change your color, you go over to style, select the color and pick one you want. Red and yellow tend to pop a lot and catch your eye attention. So I'm going to leave mine on yellow. Now what we're going to do is come back over here to edit. And you see that your cell with that border. So you can do two things at this point. You can either zoom your fusion composition a little bit bigger, or you can select a clip that you just created that crop with. You want to go over to effects and use your zoom tab to make your cell fit with that border. From here, you want to select both of your clips and create a new compound clip. I'm going to call this crop. Now it will create a single video clip from that. Now what you can do is go ahead and make yourself as large or small as you want and move yourself into position. Go down here. Let's try to match the other one. So, and move myself down into this opposite corner. All right, there you go. That's two ways you can create a crop circle around yourself in DaVinci Resolve. 
I hope you find this useful. And again, I use these in things like tutorials, just so you can keep your face in there while you're going through that process. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those down in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.